Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Dustin Christ and today we're finally going to do a package unboxing. Uh, but first, I just want to take care of uh, some, some business here. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank you guys so much uh, for the response to my contest. Um, just reading through all of your guys' comments and video responses, uh, it, it's really humbling and just... it. it, it I don't really know how to put it into words. Um, you guys have really just made my day uh, with everything that you have written me, and uh, I, I just I didn't really know that uh, you know you guys thought that highly of my channel. So thank you guys so much for that. It really does mean the world to me. And hopefully here in a week we'll draw some prizes. I'm thinking about actually expanding a little bit and drawing maybe for some more prizes and stuff like that. So. Um, We'll see. We'll see. I might, I might draw for a few extra people just to, you know, give some of that stuff out, you know. So, anyway, um, other than that, uh, another new announcement. Um, you guys often see Ada poke her head into my videos. She's our little black mini schnauzer. Uh, she's two and a half years old, and she likes to uh, come down here and kind of get into the videos if she can. But uh, you're going to start seeing a new face. And that's because we've picked up another schnauzer named Duncan. And he's a little salt and pepper. Um, he's two months old, and he is the sneakiest peer in the entire world. You would you would just look at him, and it just looks like he's standing there, and then you look underneath him, and there's a nice little steady stream of urine going. So uh, he's very sneaky in that. But uh, as he gets bigger, I'm sure he'll start poking his head into the videos as well. But I had to show him off because in a lot of ways he's a lot more fun than any game console I uh, could buy. So, Duncan, the new face on the, uh, the, the YouTube channel there. So let's go ahead and get into the video here and I uh, got a package. And uh, this is one I've been waiting for for months. Months! And I'm already going to tell you I'm a little miffed. Just a little bit peeved because um, this package cost over $100. And when it comes in these like little flimsy envelopes, um, I, I worry about my investment. And uh, I, I'm pretty sure everything's okay inside. Usually these bubble mailers uh, really do the trick. But you know, when you're spending $100 on something, call me crazy. I expect a box with some stuff in there to protect it. it call me nuts. I, I just expect that. But let's go ahead and get into it and let's crack this thing open here. And these things are always terrible to rip open, but who cares? So, let's go ahead and, ah, uh, yes, pull these bad boys out here. So, um, going to have to put these in, make sure they work okay. But, got two new Super Nintendo games here. And uh, the first game, let's do it in alphabetical order, is going to be Secret of Mana 2. Uh, just a loose cart of Secret of Mana 2. And, uh... The label looks okay, you know, it's not as good as the foil ones, but uh, it's serviceable, you know, it's, um, I haven't seen the, t this is from GameReproductions.com, uh, by the way. Um, it doesn't look as, as sharp as, like, uh, the, the uh, stickers on a real Super Nintendo game, but it, it does look very, very nice. It's a little uh, blurry in places. Uh, and the Secret of Mana 2 picture there, which of course that's going to be a blurry mess. I don't know why I just showed it to you. But uh, really excited to play this. I had it on an emulator. Uh, this is second Densetsu 3. And, uh, you know, just playing it on an emulator just wasn't working for me. The, the, it would error and, you know, the computer would just kind of chug along with it. So to actually play it on the real hardware is going to be fantastic, which I bought a uh, Super Famicom boxed uh, cart of it. But then again, you have to play it in the Japanese, so that didn't work either. So I just picked up a cart of that. I also picked up a cart of Terranigma, which I'm really excited to play as well. Um, and I, I, I do plan on starting up the... Um, the Oh, Duncan. Uh, I do plan on starting up the... Uh, Heaven and Earth trilogy uh, that Quintet made, and uh, this, of course, will be uh, the third game in the series, so I'll probably play it after I play Soul Blazer, and then I'll play Illusion of Gaia, and then I'll play Terranigma. I don't think the stories really connect. They're more of sort of a spiritual trilogy, but uh, I do want to play these things in order. That being said, uh, the next 
um, game that I will be playing will be Secret of Mana 2 after I beat this game that I'm currently playing, which I'm keeping a secret from you guys. I don't know why I'm doing that, but I just like, I like kind of the game discussions to be a surprise every now and then. So, uh, but I will tell you that Secret of Mana 2 is on my list to play. Hopefully I can finish up this game uh, this weekend, because I have the weekend off, and I can jump right into Secret of Mana 2 before, as we all know, Last Story comes out. Although, crap. 31st is coming up. It means Dream Drop Distance. Oh, it's getting hard. It's hard being a gamer. It's hard. But uh, anyway, um, you know, uh, I, I still have to put these in and make sure they work fine and everything. I think they will. Uh, my um, Monster World 4 cart works great with my uh, Sega Genesis. And that was from the same company. But I do think that uh, this will be my last purchase from Game Reproductions. Um... I got I got an order coming in from uh, Time Walk Games uh, here soon. Uh, well, it's still pending on the site, and um, I might be switching over to them because I, I it looks like they make a little bit of a better product. And uh, the guy lost my order. You know, I emailed him. I was like, "Hey, you know, where are these games I ordered uh, two months ago?" And he's like. Dude, I have no idea what happened. We lost your order. Give me your shipping info again, and I'll get them out to you. Which, he got them out to me really fast once we started communicating on email. But, you know, you kind of worry about uh, that kind of stuff. You know, losing orders and things like that. I mean, these things aren't cheap. They're not cheap. Uh, you know, these were... Uh, there was a deal on that site where you could buy two Super Nintendo games for $100. And then the $4 shipping and handling. So, not, not cheap. So, but when I, when I drop that kind of cash, I expect my stuff to come, and I expect it to come in a safe, um, oh, I have a business card. Um, I expect it to come in a, a much more safe package than this, which they're not damaged at all, but these things make me really nervous. Um, not so much with, like, DVD cases and things like that, but with, uh, you know, Super Nintendo carts. Makes me a little nervous. So, um, of course, I'll be doing a first play of Secret of Mana 2, and uh, you know, I might pop in Terra Enigma as well and just kind of show them off a little bit. Um, but yeah, guys, that's it for this video. So, once again, thank you guys so much for that just overwhelming response on my contest. Um, really, I, I really don't know what to say other than thank you. It's really just, it's, it's almost made me speechless. So, um, Duncan's acting up here. He wants to go out and play. So I'm going to end this video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time. Reach. Did it shut off, Duncan? I don't think it did. I don't think it did.